Hi, this is Meg with Customer Success at Casefleet. In this video, we're going to review the Issues tab. This is where you'll create the tags that will help you organize the facts of your case so you can find them easily at a later time. Let's get started by visiting the Issues tab on our case. Here, you'll see two headings, Unassigned Issues and Claims. You can add issue tags under either or both of these headings, but let's start with Claims. The type of tags you'll create under Claims are those that you would like to group together under a single heading. For example, each cause of action in your case could be a separate claim category. Let's say we're working with a shopper who was injured when she slipped and fell on a wet floor at a grocery store. Since we're trying to prove the grocery store was negligent in appropriately marking the freshly mopped floor, we want to create a claim heading for negligence as the cause of action. Then, we have the ability to create issue tags for each element of the negligence claim as they apply to our particular case. So we would create duty, breach, causation, and damages as the elements of this claim. Now, there may be instances where you need to create tags that are more specific than these. In my slip and fall case, I need to prove there were both general damages and special damages to the plaintiff. So I'll want to create separate tags for those two issues. This will help me as I'm reviewing evidence so I can create various facts tagged as either general or special damages. Under our negligence claim, I'm going to go ahead and create a new issue tag for general damages. And via the pencil icon, I'll edit the existing damages tag to read damages special. You'll notice these are not nested as sub issues in our claim. However, when using filters or running reports, you'll see that creating your issue tags in this way actually gives you more precise results. Filters are covered in another case fleet tutorial video linked in the video description below. Let's move on to unassigned issues. The types of tags you'll add as unassigned issues are tags that do not need to be grouped together under a larger claim heading. You can see here, we've already created three. We have background, disputed, and material as issue tags. Another example might be key fact, which can help you quickly refresh yourself on the core details of a case if you happen to be juggling more than one case at a time. Going back to our negligence case example, maybe there was a discrepancy over whether the floor was mopped before the shopper slipped and fell. We could create unassigned issue tags for floor mopped and floor not mopped. That way, as we review different witness statements, we're able to tag them to show whether the witness thought the floor had recently been mopped or not. As you can see, it's quite easy to create and edit issue tags in case fleet. A few other points before we finish up. First, you have the ability to color code your tags if you'd like to. You can see here we've color coded a few of them. To assign a color to an issue, click the pencil icon to edit, then select the desired color. You can also assign a color code when creating the issue tag initially. You can also create default issues and claim templates for your firm, so you do not need to recreate this information each time you open a new case with a similar claim. Firm administrators can create claim templates by going to the Issues page in Firm Settings. You can see here that we've already created several claim templates, as well as our three default unassigned issues. Back in my case, let's say I would like to add a new claim from my template library. Again, I would click the Add New Claim button, then select Apply Claim Templates from your library. From here, I can select which templates I would like to add as a claim to the case. As you can see, now we have added breach of contract and defamation claims to my case, as well as the underlying issue tags for both. Once a claim template has been added to your case, you can make any necessary edits under the Issues tab and it will not change the original template. For instance, in this case I know that Mutual Assent is not relevant, so I can simply delete that issue tag by clicking the pencil icon to edit, then the Delete button. This will remove the issue tag from my list. Note that any existing facts that are tagged with this issue, the tag will be removed but the fact will otherwise remain unchanged in your case timeline. As you can see, now we only have four issues under breach of contract, but the template in firm settings will remain unchanged. You can also delete any claim headings you create under your case. 
When you do, you'll see an additional checkbox option asking if you would like to delete the claim heading only and retain the individual tags, or if you want to remove both the claim and any nested tags. Since the breach of contract claim doesn't actually apply to my case, I'll go ahead and delete it along with all the underlying issue tags. Finally, you can customize the order in which you want your claims and issues to appear. Simply grab the double bars to the right and drag the row. As you can see, we reordered this where negligence appears first and defamation appears second. We can also reorder the issues under our claim the same way. For instance, we may want damages to appear first in the list. There are two reasons you may want to reorder claims and issues on the Issues tab. The first is that this provides a really helpful outline for an overview of your case. So it's important that the information is in an order that makes sense to you and your team. The second reason you may want to reorder claims and issues on the page is because the order here is mirrored in one of our reports, the Fact by Issue report. This report provides an outline format of your facts organized by issues in an editable Word document. For instance, it allows you to quickly and easily draft a statement of facts for a motion of summary judgment with the click of a button. This covers all the information for the Issues tab in Case Fleet. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, if you have further questions, message us via the in-app chat feature or email us at support at casefleet.com.